Hello, Commanders. This is Conchan Kaido with the Suicide Donkeys. The first thing I want to do is look at the Lance because it's, it's Sunday and that's what I do. So we're going to look at the leaderboard. We're one player short. That's about 1,000 to 2,000 tags in between there. So this will give you an idea if I had a full clan how high it was. So I looked uh, earlier before I kicked the player. We were ranked 34. And yes, that's right, 34. Uh, after kicking the player, we moved down to 43. But we're still in a high position with one player lost. So now we're going to go into the uh, search engine. We're going to look under Suicide Donkeys to see the activity. Uh, just a few seconds ago, I had a buddy of mine join, and I'm really happy about that. I'll show you that in a minute. So we got a new player here, uh, Mommy, with over 100 wins. Man, that's awesome. Congratulations on that. We got other player down here with over 100 wins. We got some 50s down here. We got backhanded Pluto. He broke 2,000 tags. This man has been working like a madman trying to get those tags up. Uh, we got Bin Laden, <laughs> which I don't know how I feel about that name, but each their own. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that one be. I I have seen uh, Chrome on, like he logs in the game, but I don't know if he's just promoting everything and staying out of the conflicts or what. It's probably what he's going for right now. I would like to see at least one win, one star on there, because as you can see, we're extremely active. Uh, Shane is still holding up his... Uh, Clan. I mean, he's getting those victories. He's doing great. Uh, we got Google My Skills uh, still warring. It's Mr. Jack with 71 wins. GW 56 wins. We got Brutal broke 100 wins this week too. Congratulations on that. That's awesome. Uh, skills Teen Escape with 40. Uh, as you see, all the players down here are active. Now, you're not going to see as many wins for the players at the lower points down here. And that's because they're working on their bases, but they are pulling those wins. As you see, I'm scrolling down, and you just see victory after victory. I mean, it's just amazing. We got a huge, strong clan. Then we get down here where you got some of the slackers, which will be dealt with, and I will get rid of them. And here's my boy here, uh, Moisture Waffles. He just joined. I guarantee you next time I uh, highlight this on a Saturday, he will be over 1,250 clans. I can guarantee that. But we're moving up a rank. We're doing good. <coughs> All right. Let me move on here. Promotion wise, I did get my uh, landing crafts. I don't know if I talked about this last video, but I did get them up to 550. They are now immune to a single uh, targeted attack by a sea mine. Two sea mines are required to take one down. So that gives me a huge advantage on swarming the beach. I don't have to worry about losing uh, six riflemen or two mortars on uh, participating in an assault. Now my rockets, uh, they're getting there. I almost got them up. Uh, next time I raise them, there'll be 420 damage. That means I want to go ahead and raise my uh, comp center here to level 3, so I have 3 rockets. Uh, this is going to give me the ability to knock either the machine guns or the howitzers out. The howitzers are pretty much priority, seeing how I concentrate on a rifle uh, infantry assault. Uh, my base, uh, I shouldn't even bother saying I redesigned it again. But, okay, here's the story. When I'm battling... Uh, waiting for them troops to recover. It usually takes about 12 minutes to get everything ready for the next attack. So being bored, I just kind of, you know, decorate my base and stuff like that. Especially when I got like 400, 500,000 resources. I don't really want to log off and lose 100,000 resources and then have to do one or two battles to make that up. So I stay online and I do what I do. You know, I go war and I go battles. So uh, this is the result. Constant change. Constant rearranging. Now, some people might say, oh, that's stupid. You have all these up here. First of all, if the enemy attacks these and takes them, you lose nothing. I mean, if they're full and they take them and they empty them out, guess what? They're still full when you log in. So it doesn't really matter if they take these. I mean, it really just kind of benefits me because some players are just going to attack these, trying to get these resources, and then bug out. You know, so that means I pick up 10 tags. I mean, just that easy. Plus, on top of that, uh, if you you know collect uh, two three times a day they're not really even pulling much out of that you keep it mostly up in here but if you're not going to be on till like the next day you're not really upgrading anything just leave the resources in here it doesn't really matter I mean if they take those resources good you know let them take them you get the tags into discussion the only downside to it is when they do an assault uh, like attacking here which I had done to me earlier and they take out your minds and then stronger players come in now I got some uh, tags donated to me, so that's awesome. So I appreciate that. But we're going to look at the uh, conflicts I had. Now, this player attacked me twice trying to take me. Now, this wasn't a donation of tags here. This was a legitimate attack that failed. 
So, I mean, it benefited me greatly. Now, we're going to look at one that did succeed, and we're going to pull him up real quick. We'll take a look at this battle uh, before I end anything here. So, as you see, he attacks with a whole horde of battleships, which would pretty much be sunk time they got up here. But, the previous player already knocked out my sea mines. There's really no sea mines left. So, they're pretty much free roaming. They're able to run around and destroy my crap, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to show you how I adjusted my base slightly to go ahead and deal with that situation. Because as you see, I'm losing howitzers and everything. The planes are launched because he came down south here, which worked to my advantage because he doesn't have no anti-aircraft guns on the uh, warships here. So he launched all his planes uh, mistakenly right over a lot of my machine guns. So my machine guns are taking out most of his planes, and his ships are gone. They're lost. So he drops troops up here in the north. He's just trying to get these resources, looks like, as quick as possible. But wasting the resources up there, his infantry and his attacks up here, what it's doing is causing a weaker assault on the southern uh, part of my islands. So he's not going to get that opportunity. So he sends in gunboats to go ahead and clean up this mess, which is not going to be a problem with him because, as you see, all my sea mines are gone. So it is a good idea to keep uh, track of your base and go ahead and make sure those sea mines are up. Because you might have a player donating tags by attacking you with a weak attack, which ultimately results in a stronger opponent coming in and taking all your resources. So keep tabs on your base. You wake up in the morning, take a few seconds to look at your base. It takes two minutes. Before you go to bed, same thing, you know. So as he, you see, he's coming in. He's just gathering. These things are pretty much full. So most of the resources he's pulling out are out of the uh, factories and everything. This is why I was asleep. So his ship's still moving around. All my landmines are gone. They're all positioned in the same place. I did make a change here. He's still got a minute and 15 seconds. So you're going to see if he goes for that assault on the beach or what. So here they come up. Now they're getting hit by howitzers and machine guns. They're trying to knock out this wall. But my walls are now rank high enough where they're not easily taken down. I do got one more wall to go right here. But I haven't got to that point. And he's just going to rate me on my resources down here. But luckily, I didn't have much resources there at the time because I was doing a lot of upgrades before I went to sleep. So, really, he's not getting anything out of those. I usually just click and make sure there's a little resource in there. Not so I can go ahead and, uh, uh, say, advertise or anything like that. But by doing that, you know, it gives the opportunity that my base isn't abandoned. So, there's less of a chance of players uh, going ahead and trying to attack. So, as you see, I do got cannons down here. They're knocking out these tanks one by one. They can't get to these tanks quite yet. I do have mines everywhere, but a lot of the mines were taken out. So, my tanks are moving up while they're still concentrating on the wall. Now, since the wall, uh, now since the uh, mortars are taking this out, that opens it up for their tanks. But, fortunately for him, he just doesn't have much left. I mean, he threw in as much as he can, but uh, all his units up here and stuff really put him at a disadvantage. So my gunboats are just swinging around and he just kind of gives up. He has 32% left. He knew he wasn't going to get anywhere else in my base. So I lost the four tags. And the most resources I lost really I didn't lose. Because they were all in the factories and in the rigs. And I got all that back right when I logged on. There was no loss whatsoever. Now this is the player that... This, this is the reason why it's good and bad to do this uh, setup. Now the good reason is because he's going to pretty much just concentrate... On getting your resources the bad part is he might get a little greedy and decide to send in a bunch of gunboats to get close enough to take the rigs down now i can move the rigs inland right here but at the same time no matter where i move those rigs they're still going to be a target now i'm thinking about lining the rigs up down here but i'm going to wait and see how that works i don't think that would work too well because you know the gunboats can still hit the uh rigs without jeopardizing uh their safety and as you can see, you know, the mines were set off here. And this again, you know, as I was asleep, so there really wasn't much uh, I could do about it. But this is pretty much all he does. He does do a beach assault, but it fails epically. I don't know if we have enough time. I don't know if it's this attack or the second attack. Pretty sure it was the second attack. But as you see, he's not really getting... He's getting none of my resources. Now, he's getting resources, but he's not getting my resources. And you see what I'm saying? These resources are still going to be here when I log in. And some. So, I mean, there's no loss to me. But now his troops are trapped because you know about this glitch right here. And this glitch involves the troops not passing uh, past that island point. Seven seconds, he pretty much just gives up because he has too many resources spread out. He doesn't have no ships really left. And he, I don't think he really was prepared for that attack. So, 
that's the results uh them are the two battles i got to show you i'm not really going to do attack right now um i'm not camouflaged but i'm really just not going to concentrate i just got the game destiny and i'm going to be playing it all night so <laughs> i will see y'all monday morning all right so i love y'all man keep building the bases my clan is number one i don't care what uh the charts say i don't care about the uh you know the lion heart sitting up here and stuff like that now nah, screw that our clan is number one all right we are active we're family and we will make there and we don't have to create five six accounts to get our tags up all right we're going to do it the way we're going to do it you know so i'm out of here i'm babbling right now i'm just really excited to get to play the game so uh peace out love y'all man and if y'all want to join the greatest clan ever just message me on uh ps4 or just join up because i'm kicking one opponent every time i wake up in the morning I'm going to kick somebody, the lowest player, all right? Unless I know them personally and I know they're getting tags, uh, they're gone, all right? So peace out. See you next video.